Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich, and uh, here's something in Windows XP that we're all very familiar with is the Add or Remove Programs icon in the Control Panel. If you were in the Category view, this would be gotten to by going to Add or Remove Programs here. Either way, it's the same thing. And if we double click here, now I'm not going to show you how to add or remove programs. I'm going to show you something else that uh, you may not ordinarily go to, but it's good information to know. In the Add or Remove Programs window that appears, there's four big icons on the left. We have Change or Remove Programs, Add New Programs, which no one ever uses, Add or Remove Windows Components, which you may have seen. If you go to Add or Remove Windows Components, this will bring up a uh, Windows Components wizard, and you can add and remove things from here. Uh, like if you have the MSN Explorer, no one uses that. You can uncheck that and get rid of it. Also, if you have that uh, Windows Messenger, and this is not to be considered confuse it with the Windows Live Messenger. If you have this, you probably want to get rid of it because it's more or less useless. Anyway, then there's uh, Add or Remove Windows Components, which we just saw. And then here's the one here, which you may or may not have seen, is Set Program Access and Defaults. If we click on this, it looks like not much, but if we actually go to Custom and expand it, look at this. Choose a default web browser. I have Internet Explorer, Opera, and Firefox installed, and you can actually choose which one you want to use by default. Your default email program, your default media player, QuickTime or Windows Media Player. If you have QuickTime installed, you know how unbelievably annoying that software is sometimes when it forces itself to be default in so much stuff. You can change that here. And uh, actually, if we scroll down a little bit, you can actually go ahead and choose your default instant messaging program, too. Uh, I use Trill Trillion, there's Windows Messenger, and uh, you can enable access or whatever. And then uh, choose a default virtual machine for Java. Now, there used to be the Microsoft virtual machine, but that uh, is not around anymore. So uh, you use the standard Java. But what's important here is... Uh, your settings for your default web browser, email, and media player. Uh, again, how to get to this is you go to the add or remove programs from the control panel, and then you click the bottom icon for set program access and defaults. And it is all right here. And in case you didn't see it before, go check it out. You may or may not need to modify any settings in this, but if you do, now you know where it is. Take it easy, people. Oh, yeah.